Hey all 999 here with a quick tutorial on how to use Safari Download. Basically uh, what it does is it lets you download uh, popular formats right through Safari but you have to enable it through uh, boss prefs. So let me show you a quick uh, demonstration here of what normally happens. So we go to SeekPod and we're gonna search for a uh, audio file here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it. You can see it brings up uh, the QuickTime player. Which is all good, but it uh, doesn't help us here. So, I'm just going to go back. And uh, go to Boss Prefs. And now I'm going to enable the... Uh, Safari Download plugin. When I click it, I'm going to make sure I'm going to wait till uh, I see those little spinny progress bars complete. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button. And I'm going to hop back into Safari. And I'm going to do a search again for the song that I searched for before. All right. Now you see I've got a download button and I've got a change file name button. So I wanted to rename this for any reason I could change it. But I'm just going to go ahead and download it. It's got a progress bar. And we're done. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to Mobile Finder. And I've configured mine with AV player to recognize MP3 files. So I'm going to go to the downloads folder now. And there's my MP3. It's being played locally. And uh, that's the Safari Download plugin. To uh, disable it, you want to go back to Pause Prefs, turn it off, and wait for the progress bar spinner to stop. Hit your home button, go back to SeekPod, and uh, what you want to do, especially if you're uninstalling this or upgrading, is test it out and make sure that. Uh, QuickTime will play so that you're not stuck with a file that doesn't do anything. There's QuickTime, so we're all good. We're back to default again. And that's Safari Download Plugin. Check it out on Fight Club. I'm a new soul, I came to this strange world.